What if the market shut down for 10 years? Would you still hold your investments? That's the question NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, dropped like a bombshell at CES 2025. His shocking statement about tech stocks and the timeline for quantum computing sent shockwaves through the industry, triggering a massive sell-off. Stocks like IonQ and Quantum Computing Inc. plummeted by nearly 40% at the time. But here's the twist. Not everyone agrees with Huang. Some experts are calling this a golden opportunity to buy the dip. D-Wave's CEO claims their quantum tech is already being used by giants like MasterCard today. So, is this the end for quantum computing stocks or the beginning of a massive comeback? In this video, we reveal the top three quantum stocks that could outshine even NVIDIA in the long run. The first stock is a hidden gem discussed in our last video with groundbreaking tech, while stock number three is a game changer you cannot afford to miss. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting, these picks could be your ticket to the next big tech revolution. However, please note that this isn't financial advice and shouldn't be construed as an inducement to invest. It is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. The future is closer than you think, and it starts right here. Let's start with QBTS. In a world increasingly driven by artificial intelligence, logistics automation, and advanced materials science, quantum computing has evolved from a sci-fi concept to a strategic imperative. Among the small cadre of companies translating this futuristic technology into real-world impact, D-Wave Quantum Inc. and QBTS stand out as uniquely commercial-first innovators. While tech titans like IBM and Google are racing to build universal gate-based quantum systems, D-Wave has focused its efforts on an immediate and profitable niche, quantum annealing for optimization. This technology is already being utilized in various sectors, including retail logistics and materials research, a company with real clients, real use cases, real revenue. D-Wave isn't just another quantum hopeful, it's already solving problems for global giants. Clients include MasterCard, Deloitte, Volkswagen, Patterson Food Group, and Ant NASA. Ford Autosan, for example, utilized D-Wave's quantum solutions to reduce manufacturing schedule times by 83%, while the Patterson Group reduced retail staff scheduling efforts by 80%. Their Leap Quantum Cloud service, available in over 40 countries, enables enterprise clients to access quantum capabilities on demand, just as AWS did for cloud computing. With over 25 Forbes Global 2000 companies on board, D-Wave is laying the groundwork for mainstream adoption. The company has recently launched its latest system, Advantage 2, which is now generally available. It boasts 4,400 plus qubits, 75% noise reduction compared to previous generations, 40% energy scale boost, problem-solving capacity that exceeds classical GPU-based supercomputers in key optimization tasks. In one notable demonstration published in Science, the system simulated magnetic phenomena in just minutes something that would take classical machines millions of years to compute. The financials of this stock are from niche to growth engine. According to D-Wave's latest earnings release, Q1 2025 revenue reached $15 million, signifying a six-fold year-over-year increase. Analysts anticipate a rise from $8.75 million in 2024 to over $30 million by 2026, growth that positions the company in a unique space among early-stage deep tech firms. To fuel this momentum, D-Wave raised $95.8 million through warrant exercises in 2024, bolstering its R&D and commercialization runway. In May, D-Wave announced a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with Yonsei University and Incheon Metropolitan City in South Korea. The agreement includes talent development, quantum system deployment, and research in biotech and materials science. This move signals D-Wave's intention to establish a global quantum hub in Asia, where demand for high-performance computing is rapidly growing. As CEO Dr. Alan Baratz put it, this strategic relationship marks an important step in furthering D-Wave's mission to accelerate global quantum computing adoption. The market has taken notice. QBTS soared over 1,000 to 80% in the past 12 months, dramatically outpacing competitors like IonQ, 402%, and Rigetti, 840%. Just this past Friday, shares jumped 13%, closing at $18.62 after the launch of Advantage 2. Still, some caution is warranted. At a $5.22 billion market cap and a PS ratio of nearly 200x, QBTS is trading at premium valuations. The average analyst price target of $13 suggests a potential pullback, though this doesn't account for upside from global expansion or deeper enterprise adoption. 
Quantum computing, according to NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, is at an inflection point. The global market is expected to surpass $125 billion by 2035, and companies like D-Wave are positioning themselves at the forefront of this growth. While gate-based quantum systems may eventually become the industry standard, D-Wave's quantum annealing model is already demonstrating its value, solving optimization challenges that traditional computing and even early-stage gate models cannot match. I see this tech stock as a calculated risk with asymmetric upside. For forward-looking investors with an appetite for volatility and vision, D-Wave Quantum offers an enticing mix of near-term utility and long-term disruption potential. It's not without risks, competition is fierce, and the technology is still evolving. However, with government contracts, blue-chip clients, and a commercially viable product available today, not tomorrow, D-Wave may be the purest quantum play currently on the market. If you are building a portfolio intended for the next technological era, QBTS warrants serious attention. Quantum computing stocks present significant risks due to their early-stage attributes, high valuations, and capital-intensive nature. Investors should conduct independent due diligence and consult a financial advisor before making investment decisions. While headlines in tech investing are dominated by juggernauts like NVIDIA and Alphabet, a quieter revolution is taking place beneath the surface, driven by the companies ensuring those advanced chips work, which brings us to Form Factor, Form, and Teradyne, t -ear, two unflashy but essential players powering the testing infrastructure of modern computing. Form Factor is a precision testing for the quantum and AI era. In an industry obsessed with scale and speed, Form Factor has emerged as the undisputed global leader in semiconductor test and measurement solutions. According to the 2025 Tech Insights Global Customer Satisfaction Survey, Form Factor was named number one worldwide in both test subsystems and focused chip making equipment for the 12th consecutive year. This isn't just another supplier story. Every AI, quantum, or 5G chip, whether from NVIDIA, Intel, or a cutting edge startup, needs rigorous nanometer scale testing. That's Form Factor's turf. Looking at the latest financials for Q1 2025, Revenue is estimated at $171.4 million, 1.6% year-over-year, beat by 0.9%, EPS, above expectations while the margins held strong despite softness in DRAM probe cards. CEO Mike Slessor reaffirmed that while the memory sector experienced some cyclical softness, long-term tailwinds from AI, advanced packaging, and quantum computing remain intact. Quantum chips operate at near-zero temperatures, requiring highly specialized testing equipment. Form Factor's PQ500 cryogenic probe socket supports 20 GHz signal fidelity at those temperatures, a non-negotiable feature for quantum chip scaling. It's this kind of forward-focused engineering that embeds form deep within the quantum value chain. Looking at the market tailwinds, the advanced probe card market is projected to grow by 1.7 billion between 2025 and 2029. 9.4%. Form is ideally positioned to capture this growth as it already dominates the high-performance probe card segment. Despite trading approximately 13% lower year-to-date at $32, this pullback could present a classic buy-the-dip scenario for long-term tech investors. Zacks currently rates the stock a number two buy, and with secular demand rising, Form looks undervalued relative to its strategic role in the semiconductor ecosystem. Moving to the last but not the least, Teradyne ticker TR, a silent giant in AI, robotics, and advanced testing. While Form Factor excels in wafer-level precision, Teradyne dominates system-level and automated testing across multiple verticals. Their impact is broad, touching everything from smartphone SOCs to industrial robots. Unsurprisingly, the stock has gained 9.2% in the past month, outperforming broader tech indices. Q1 2025 earnings snapshot, revenue $686 million, 14% year-over-year, EPS, 0.75, 47.1% year-over-year. Gross margin, 60.6%. Both top and bottom line figures beat Wall Street expectations. Who do they serve? Teradyne's customers include Apple, Intel, Qualcomm, and leading DRAM makers. Their system-level testing, SLT products, are becoming critical for AI accelerator validation, especially in HBM4-powered data centers. The company estimates SLT will generate $60 nm to $189 in revenue by 2026 particularly as demand for real-world validation of AI chips surges. Not just semiconductors, but has the cobot advantage. Teradyne's Universal Robots division gives it an additional lever of growth in collaborative robotics, a market expanding at 30% key AGR. 
Cobots are becoming indispensable in smart manufacturing, where automation and human-machine collaboration intersect. Well, no matter how promising company stock may be, we need to be cautious of the risks and outlook. Despite strong earnings, Teradyne issued conservative Q2 guidance due to macroeconomic volatility and tariff uncertainty. Revenue, 600 M 680 Mounter EPS, 0.41 Zordorn 64. But long-term fundamentals remain compelling. Teradyne is deeply entrenched in AI hardware validation, quantum chip reliability, and robotics automation, three megatrends that are shaping the next decade. In every gold rush, the quiet winners are the ones selling the picks and shovels. That's precisely what Form Factor and Teradyne represent in today's quantum and AI boom. Form Factor is your gateway to high-precision testing at the bleeding edge of semiconductor innovation. Teradyne gives you diversified exposure to chip testing and industrial automation, two markets with structural tailwinds. These stocks are flying under the radar, but hold tremendous potential as core infrastructure providers for quantum computing, AI accelerators, and 5G ecosystems. If you're looking for a low-risk, high-reward way to invest in emerging technologies without betting on unproven moonshots, Form Factor and Teradyne deserve a seat at the table. Which of these two unsung heroes do you see leading the charge? Or would you rather roll the dice on a pure play like D-Wave Quantum? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insight into the future of tech investing.